I scream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. If you grew up in North America, you probably know this rhyme by heart. Reminded of pleasant summer memories involving melting cones that drip down your fingers and the slightly ominous music of the ice cream truck in the distance. Being one of the most popular desserts in the world, ice cream has cemented itself in our lives as the go-to treat of the summer, at least for all of us non-lactose intolerance. But aside from being one of the most popular desserts, it is also one of the oldest, with some forms dating back as far as 5,000 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Historodame, and today we're discussing the history of ice cream. For those of you unfamiliar with ancient refrigeration methods, you may be wondering how ice cream could possibly be thousands of years old. After all, in our modern age, we can hardly imagine ice cream without the accompanying freezer to keep it from melting. But ancient people had some brilliant innovations that made the development of ice cream possible without even having electricity. We don't know for certain when exactly the first ice cream was developed, but we do know that it likely came from China, sometime during the Tang Dynasty. When farmers first began to use livestock to produce milk, dairy products were considered a rare resource and highly prized among Chinese nobility. Their favorite way of consuming them was in a dish made from overcooked rice, spices, and milk, a concoction quite similar to rice pudding. This, of course, was a lovely dessert to eat during the colder months, but in the summer it just didn't have the same effect. As a solution, some nobles began importing snow from the mountains and having their servants pack it in with this rice milk paste in order to freeze it, and thus the first incarnation of ice cream was born. Due to the difficulty of transporting snow across the country in the height of summer, this treat became a symbol of great wealth. The emperors of the Tang Dynasty are believed to have been the first people to eat this frozen dessert. This early version of ice cream would have been made with cow, goat, or buffalo milk. It also contained camphor, a substance harvested from evergreen trees that would enhance the texture and flavor. Once combined, this mixture would be packed into metal tubes and submerged in a pool of ice until frozen. As milk-based ices became more popular, Chinese nobility eventually experimented with adding different fruits to the snow, in order to make the first fruit ices, or the world's first snow cone. This revolutionary dessert spread from China to other parts of the world. We don't know for certain when this happened, but there are records that show both Indians and Romans had access to some form of ice cream. In India, a similar process to the Chinese was used to make kulfi, a dessert now known as the traditional ice cream of India. In Rome, Pliny the Elder wrote of a recipe where sweet drinks were mixed with fruit and snow, creating a sort of slushy substance that many upper-class Romans enjoyed. It is even said that the Emperor Nero brought snow directly from the mountains in order to serve it at his banquets, offering guests a dessert made from crushed ice mixed with honey and fruit juice. Ice cream would undergo its next evolution in Italy, where brilliant minds developed something similar to the ice cream we know and love today. During the 14th century, Italy was the center of trade with Asia and the Middle East, putting them in the perfect position to learn of these innovative recipes for ice cream and slowly spread the food all across Europe. Even still, ice cream remained a food for only the wealthiest of citizens. During the winter, ice would be hoarded in large underground caves until it would be made into ice cream during the summer. This dessert was so loved by the upper class, in fact, that Italian nobles kept the recipe and freezing technique for making milk ices top secret. Some accounts say that ice cream was so exclusive at the time that it was used as a way to demonstrate Italian sophistication at the wedding of Catherine de' Medici to Henry II. Reportedly, Italian chefs created a different flavor of fruit ice for each day of the celebrations, pioneering new flavors such as lemon, lime, orange, cherry, and wild strawberry. Throughout the years, ice cream would continue to spread through Europe, becoming a favorite food of the elite everywhere. Sometime around the 1660s, with new resources available from Italian trade and colonization, the recipe for ice cream was altered to include sugar. This new dish was called sorbetto, or as we more commonly know it, sorbet. 
Since ice cream recipes were so closely guarded, it is difficult to tell when exactly this innovation happened. But we do know that Antonio Latini, a man that worked for a Spanish viceroy in Naples, was the first person to write down the recipe for sorbetto. His other recipes also include the first milk-based sorbet, which many culinary historians today consider to be the first true ice cream. With their crippling superiority complex and general snootiness, an exclusive food like ice cream was the perfect match for British nobility. Ice cream was first recorded in England in the year 1671, during the Feast of St. George at Windsor Castle. It was such a rare and hard-to-come-by dish that it was kept for the richest of rich people, being served only to those at the table with King Charles II, while all of the less rich people were just left to watch and marvel at how fancy it was. Because recipes for ice cream were still heavily guarded by the Italians, finding someone who knew how to make it was a big deal. Having access to ice cream recipes basically gave you a job for life. So those who had them were reluctant to teach others the process, in fear that they would lose their prominent position. It is because of this secrecy that the first recipe for ice cream written in English did not appear until 1718, despite the dessert being prominent in England for decades prior to that. After this first recipe emerged, the ice cream bubble essentially broke, as recipes slowly began to pop up in different cookbooks over the years. Famous chef Agnes Marshall did much to popularize ice cream to the point where it became accessible to the middle classes. In her first book, she published over 177 different ice cream and frozen dessert recipes, many of which involved pressing ice cream into various shaped molds in order to create elaborate centerpieces. In addition to promoting her original ice cream recipes, the book also advertised some of Marshall's ice cream-related inventions, including her patent freezer, which was able to freeze a pint of ice cream in under five minutes, a design which is faster and more reliable than many modern ice cream machines. Her contributions to popularizing ice cream earned her the fantastic nickname Queen of Ices, a title that has helped her go down in history as a cornerstone in the story of ice cream. It was during Agnes Marshall's rise to fame that the first ice cream machine was produced in 1843, with models being sold in both England and America. These early machines operated without electricity, and consisted of a wooden bucket that was filled with ice and salt, with a central metal container that would be submerged in the salt and ice mixture. A rotating handle was fixed to the top of the device, which would allow the user to manually churn the ice cream into an even and smooth texture. With recipes finally available, and the ice cream maker simplifying the process, ice cream was finally able to spread in massive popularity all over the world. It is likely that ice cream made its way to North America sometime in the early 1700s, along with European settlers. Since published recipes were already widely available at this time, ice cream soared in popularity. America would be home to one of the next great ice cream innovations, the invention of the edible ice cream cone. At the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair, Arnold Fornichu, an American ice cream vendor, ran out of cups in which to sell his ice cream. Luckily, instead of calling it a day, he teamed up with another vendor, Ernest Hamway, a Syrian baker who specialized in making waffles. Together, they experimented with rolling thin waffles into cones and serving ice cream inside, calling the combination a World's Fair Cornucopia. The treat was a hit, and edible ice cream cones soon became the favorite way to enjoy this summertime dessert. Ice cream finally became affordable with the invention of continuous refrigeration in 1926. Electrical freezers allowed manufacturers to produce large quantities of ice cream, which in turn lowered prices and made the food an affordable option for everyone. Even today, ice cream hasn't quite lost its allure. It may be available during all times of the year and for everyone, but it is still widely associated with special occasions. Being popular at birthday parties during summer vacation, or if you're a hardcore ice cream lover during the winter, this 5,000-year-old dessert holds a special place in the hearts of people all around the world. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe I just got a craving for ice cream. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. 
If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like or a comment down below. If you want to see more content like this, you can also subscribe to my channel and keep up to date on all the fun history videos of the future. But for now, I bid you farewell.